Hello everybody, Miss Jackie Russell here. How are you doing today? Have y'all missed me? Oh, I've been kind of like in a blackout. That's right, we lost power Sunday night from this crazy storm that just blew up from nowhere. Matter of fact, the news told us the storm was going to hit at midnight. Well, heck, it hit at 1030 and it blew out our electric in three cities around us and we were like in the dark, no power. Ours finally came on today, Tuesdays, when I'm recording this. So it's been off since Sunday night, and it came back this morning around 11.30. So it has been quite the ordeal, and I was not able to answer emails or answer any comments or anything. So I just want to say I'm glad to be back. I welcome each and every one of you. I hope you all are having good weather <laughs> and none of this stormy stuff. And I have a box for you today. It came in the mail. I think it came in Monday, but I couldn't get it to you sooner. And it is Celebrate States. And we're going to find out what state we're going to. Celebrate States is a monthly subscription. And we go state to state. We get to find out different things about our wonderful United States of America, state by state. And this is great for not only getting to know a little bit about the state, but to also get to know if you'd want to go to that state and visit and or where to visit. Now this box is $45 a month on a monthly non-committal contract, meaning you can cancel any time and shipping is $10. If you want to save a little bit more and you're confident in getting this box on a regular basis, they do have a six month program where you can get it for $39 a month. And that is what I do. And I also have a coupon for you. It is Miss Jackie 20 and you can save 20% off your first box subscription. And when you do the 20%, it could be for your length of your subscription. I'm not 100% sure. I do know it's Miss Jackie 20 and you can save 20%. So without any further ado, let's find out what state we're going to. Kentucky, how about that? <gasps> the Derby. Hey, wasn't that exciting? That horse came out of nowhere and beat everybody. So now they've got to go to the other Derbies and win there too. Let's find out about Kentucky. Let's see what our little message says. It says, Hello Celebrate States family. We are sorry, but Ups lost our entire shipment of pretzels. Oh no. While they are busy looking for it, we have replaced them with this yummy chocolate rose. If our pretzels do show up, we'll add them to your next box. Oh, so they had a little bit of a problem getting their pretzels. And I'm sure they're delicious. And you know what? Dane, he's good about his word. If he says he's going to do something, he will. And let's just hope they find it. Now we do get a product card and then we also get a little information. Trivia and fun facts. It says, on a warm sunny Monday afternoon, May 17th, 1875, 15 three-year-old thoroughbred racehorses went to the post to compete in the first Kentucky Derby. About 10,000 fans were on hand to see the H.P. McGrath's Colt Aristide set the pace and fought off all challengers to win. He was ridden to victory by jockey Oliver Lewis, one of 13 African-American jockeys to compete in the race. Since then, the Kentucky Derby has held every year at the Louisville Churchill Downs racetrack, making it the longest continuous held sporting event in the United States. Wow, I didn't know that. My dad loved the horse races. He would always watch them, and I know he would have been excited if he would have been able to see what happened this year. So this pamphlet is going to be all about the Derby. It's got just more information about the daily records. It's got information on here about the track, the stride, the Triple Crown, just all kinds of things. It says on the Triple Crown, a series of three races for three-year-old Colts and Phillies, the Kentucky Derby. The Preakness Stakes and the Belmont Stakes run each year during May and June. And it's got some other information on there. Purse, the total money that can be won on a race. So it's just all kinds of definitions of what goes on with the Derby. 
stallion, a male horse used for breeding. So just various different things. I'm not going to read them all, but if you want to take a snapshot of that and read through it, you certainly can. And then, of course, on the back, it just shows us the state of Kentucky and where it's located in the United States. So this is all exciting and a little trivia on the back. So that is our box. And they always include information about the state itself. So like you want to go visit there, then you have a booklet that is filled with information. They've got events for everyone. They've got places. Horses, of course, is a big thing, and ranches with horses are all there. It's just beautiful countryside, and it's going to tell you all about it, and it's going to have advertising of the best places to stay, best places to go see. And this is just a great source of information if you're trying to figure out if you want to go to Kentucky to visit or when you do go. It's a great guide. And then, of course, inside here, we're going to find out some nice little treats. So let's go on and find out what it says on our card. This is Bowers Candy, Lawrenceville, Kentucky. A step back in time, elegance and tradition is what we hope you will experience when you indulge in our famous Majescus Majescus. After just one, you'll never dream of sugar plums again. What is a Modesca? It is a word that conjures up visions of supremacy and mastery of power. It sounds like magic. It tastes like heaven. It's not a word you'll find in Webster's Dictionary. It is the name of a Polish actress, Madame Helena Mojeska, famed queen of the European stage, appeared at the Macaulay Theater in Louisville, Kentucky. Her appearance in 1883 was queen of the European stage. She appeared at the Macaulay Theater, and her debut was in 1883 and with the play of A Doll's House, written by Henrik Ibsen. Her theatrical performance was enthralling to a patron attending this debut, and Mr. Anton Bushoff, owner of Bushoff Candies, who was honored by an introduction to the beautiful actress, he asked and was granted permission to name his confection after her. After Bushoff Candies closed in 1947, we be began calling our caramel biscuit the Majeska in honor of the creator, Anton Bushoff. The Bauer family has a tradition of passing down this mastery of candy through the years, generations and generations, until Anna Bauer took ownership. The business had only been passed down to Bauer's sons. Anna is the first daughter to own and operate Bauer's Candies, Incorporated. I'm proud to carry on the name and tradition of the quality of the product we have. I am equally as proud to have two sons, Matt and Mike, that love the company and its legacy and as much as I do who are committed to carrying the Bauer name into the fifth generation. So this is a strong history of family business. And let's find out where that candy is. They've been talking about it. Gotta find it. And here it is. It's the original Majeska's candy. It's a caramel marshmallow. Woo! And this is the ingredients on the back. It looks like I can probably have a taste of this. We just might have to tear into this famous candy and find out all about it. It looks like a really big caramel. Look at that. That's huge. And it's wrapped in wax paper, of course, to keep it as fresh as possible. And look how gooey it is. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just going to have a little bite because you know this is going to get all over my tea. Oh, my goodness. And it's got the marshmallow inside. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's delicious. Very good. Mmm. I can see why they're so famous. They're so delicious. Oh my goodness. And that was in Lawrenceville, Kentucky is where these are found. The next item is Zell's by Yankee Doodle Deli. And this is in Covington, Kentucky. The story of our company is really about three dogs, a dream and a purpose. Our owner, Marilyn, started baking as a way to work through the grief after Yankee Doodle, 
Her beloved Sheltie passed away. One of our most successful creations was her spicy pretzel snack. That might be the snack that we're not going to have in here. This was the pretzel that didn't make it. They got lost. Anyways, the Sheltie's name was Karma, and she brought good luck to the Marilyn and her business. After Karma passed, Marilyn went several years without a dog until friends offered her a puppy, Zelly, a lively mixed poodle of Shih Tzu and Pomeranian. She is an excellent mascot for Zells from the beginning. Marilyn designed her business as a way to give back to the community. Let's see here. They sent us a candy instead. Okay, that would be this right here. So I'm assuming you take the foil off of there and we have this rose in place of the pretzels. So normally we would get the pretzels, but we can't control shipping and we know all of us know how that can happen. So we have this chocolate rose and I don't really have any other information other than that's what this is. So this replaces that item and it sounds like the pretzels will be great and I'm sure if they find them we'll get an opportunity to talk about them in one of the future boxes. The next item is Moss Hill Bath and Body. This is out of Louisville, Kentucky and this is a soap I believe and it's got the shape of a horse on it. Can you see that without too much of the glare? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's all carved out. Let's see what it has to say. Moss Hill began out of a desire to create thoughtful, luxurious gifts for friends and family. We are a women-owned family business and believers there is joy in the simple things and the indulgence comes from many forms like taking time to enjoy a beautiful sunset, the feel of a gentle breeze or noticing the birds singing, Everyone bathes, so why not indulge in a lovely product and turn mundane into joyful experiences? Our product is made in small batches with hands-on attention. Our handmade products carry the Kentucky Crafted and Kentucky Proud seals of approval. Celebrate States has chosen a decorative horse soap and a wonderful smelling lotion for your enjoyment. Oh, that smells good. And we got some bluegrass lotions to go with it. Oh, I want to smell this. Oh, that smells really good. And it's bluegrass is the scent and it's hand and body lotion. It's a two ounce size and obviously it's got a pump on it. And the horse, the bar of soap, which has the horse head on it, it says bathe in bourbon. So maybe that's the scent. But I can't say that it smells like whiskey or anything. But anyway, these are very nice and I'll enjoy trying them out. The next item that we have, Wetted Kentucky Swedish Cloth. And that's right here. It's a wet it. So this is going to be one of those cloths that's dry right now, but when you wet it, it's going to be able to absorb a lot. I've had similar products like this, and I love it that it's got the state of Kentucky on there. Our business adventure began in 2009 when I surprisingly realized that super absorbent sponge cloths I used during my years growing up in Sweden were not a common commodity in the U.S. homes. In a few short years, we have met with an overwhelming response with consumers that they love our product. What makes the wet it cloth so impressive is their absorption and biodegradability qualities. The fabric is tried and true Swedish invention from the 1940s and is made of perfect blend of high-grade cotton and wood pulp. The idea behind the wet it is to eliminate and reduce amount of paper towels waste or wet it or like the reusable paper towel that outperforms any sponges. They are efficient, reusable, and eco-friendly and 100% biodegradable and stylish. And I do have some Swedish washcloths that I got from FabFitFun, I believe, and I love them. They're really nice. So that is a great product. Okay, our next item is Sweet Ruby Cheddars. These are cheese straws, and it says, Mother's Table was the heart of our home. Guests and family always gathered there to be greeted with a glass of sweet tea or a warm cup of coffee. Decisions were made, world problems were solved, jokes and old stories told, but most of all, memories were made. Ruby was a wonderful cook. She was a true Southern lady who grew up in hard times. She was the definition of all things sweet yet to bloom in this world. For months I pondered names for the business and it was always right there in front of me. 
She was sweet Ruby. We encompass the legacy she left behind for you and all others to ch cherish and savor. So these are some cheddar straws. I'm sure they're gonna be tasty. It's got quite a bit of information on there. They look and sound delicious. We have one more item. The Earthy Browns Natural Product Olive Oil Soap. This is mint julep. Ooh, that sounds good. This is made at Earth's Brown, Shelbyville, Kentucky. This story begins at a Jimmy Buffett concert way back in 1996. Ooh. Paul and Kay fell in love. Even then, Paul was just an earthy, growing his own food, brewing his own beer, foraging for mushrooms, and whatnot. Kay thought that, that his ways were odd, but she loved him nonetheless. In the late 90s, Paul took up beekeeping. The bees provided not only honey, but wax. With the wax, Paul began making hands and lip balms. Then Paul and Kay had a bunch of babies. They began reading the labels and a little more carefully and noticed that food and skincare products were full of some might call poisons, not good enough for the brown babies. They made the baby food, soaps and lotions. They have a few small plots of land where they keep gardens, apiaries, and an orchid. They make what they can. They teach their children at home. They work every day to live a sufficient, simple, and general life. So that sounds nice. I'm gonna shake this up a little bit. This is a soap. So of course I don't wanna put it on me. I don't wanna lather up. Oh my gosh. It smells just like a mint julep. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. So another great product from Celebrate States. And to recap, we got our soap from the Earthy Browns. We got our cheddar cheese, cheese straws from Sweet Rubies. We got our delicious original Majeska's caramel marshmallows. We got our soap with the horse carving on it and a bottle of lotion to go with it. And we got this Swedish top washcloth which I'm going to enjoy using because they're very good. And we got our rose in place of the pretzel. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this box. That's all I have today for the Celebrate States Kentucky Derby. And we are all looking forward to seeing how the Triple Crown ends up. And maybe we'll have a Triple Crown. But as for today, that's all I have. And in my description down below, you would be able to find the Miss Jackie 20. That's the discount if you want to start up with Celebrate States and save yourself 20%. You'll also see that I have other giveaways and information that's going on right now. And you can still sign up for some of these giveaways. I've got I won, so can you. I also have a giveaway from a mystery bundle that I am doing and i have some surprise giveaways so be sure and check all them out i have some more battles and collabs coming up soon so just beware there's things coming and yeah the electricity kind of put me behind and i miss mass monday so i'll try to catch up with you guys next week but as for today that's all i have and as usual i wish you all a blessed and happy day bye bye